Hey Hat Cam Bass Fears, it's Jake again. It's late summer in Texas. It's really hot outside. We've been catching some nice bass on frogs, fished over heavy matted hydrilla and lily pads. Stay tuned to see how we're able to get these fish out and what we're using. That's a giant, oh my God. Before you go on your next frog fishing adventure, you want to make sure you have the right tackle. We're going to talk about what you absolutely have to have to get those big bass out of that heavy hydrilla and lily pads. You're going to want to start with a seven foot to seven foot six heavy or extra heavy action rod. This rod needs to be rated to handle up to 50 to 65 pound braided line. You're going to want to pair that with a, at least a seven zero to one bait cast reel to help get the line up when those fish blow up on your frog and help get them to the bank or to your boat really fast. The type of line you're going to want to use is crucial. 50 to 65 pound braided line. You want that braided line because it has absolutely zero stretch, allows you to get a good hook set into those fish at the end of a long cast, and that braided line's thin diameter allows you to cut right through the grass to get that fish to the bank or to your boat. All right guys, now that you know what type of tackle you're gonna need to frog fish in the heavy cover, let's talk about what type of frogs you're gonna wanna use. You're gonna wanna make sure you're using a hollow body floating frog. This frog is gonna float on the surface, it's gonna stay out of that heavy cover and it's gonna allow those bass to see it from under the heavy cover and come up and eat that bait. First type of frog we're gonna talk about is a spro popping frog. This frog has a walk the dog action and it also incorporates a spitting action much like a yellow magic or a pawpaw. This is a very good bait when you're fishing it in the holes around the lily pads and the hydrilla because you get two actions in one. Second bait we're gonna talk about is just your your regular full-size walking frog. This frog is just has the classic walk the dog action. You walk it back and forth, slow or fast you can walk this frog. This frog is going to come through that heavy cover a little easier than the popping frog because it's more streamlined in the front and won't catch on that heavy cover. Third frog we're going to talk about is this is just a junior sized walking frog. If you're fishing and you're getting a lot of short strikes and a lot of smaller blow ups, switch over to a smaller frog. Sometimes those smaller fish inhale this bait a lot better and really allow your hookup ratio to go through the roof. All right guys, so now that you know what style frog, let's talk about colors. I like to keep it really simple. Fishing early in the morning, low light conditions, always I always throw black. That sun gets up white or natural colors.
big one. Trade me. Alright guys, now that you know what type of tackling you need, what style and color frogs you're going to need for this heavy cover summer fishing, let's talk about what to do once that big bass blows up on your frog. When you're working that frog with your rod tip down, that big bass engulfs your frog. Count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, reel down on that slack and set the hook as hard as you can straight up in the air. It's going to drive that frog straight into the top of their mouth and they're not going to come off if you set the hook hard enough. Now when you hook that fish, he's going to want to go deep into that cover and get you all tangled up. If he's small enough, you can pull him to the surface and ski him to the boat. But most of the big fish, they're going to want to bury themselves in the cover and get down in there and you're not going to be able to pull them up. The second you feel that fish stop and get hung up in that grass and not come to the boat anymore, you're going to want to go to him with your trolling motor while keeping tension on your line, clear the hydrilla or lily pads or whatever grass it is away from your line and bait, reach down there and grab your fish. <laughs> if you're fishing from the bank and he gets hung up and you can't pull him any further, you're going to want to stop pulling on that fish and hope he swims out of that cover. Just keep the tension there lightly on him so that frog doesn't come free, but let the fish swim and let him start pulling. When that fish pulls away out of that cover, start pulling him towards the bank again and try to get him up on the top of the water. Thanks for watching that video, guys. Be sure to check out our other YouTube videos and subscribe to our channel. Also check out our brand new website, hackhandbass.com, which features our newest videos as well as tournament reports, fishing reports, and tips and tricks on how to catch those big fish. Thanks guys and have a good day.